Okay. Update on the tree situation. Um, big difference. <laughs> uh, of course, I've got more stuff. <laughs> more and more stuff. Lost three trees that I kind of wanted to keep, but that's all right. These guys did a pretty good job of getting them trees down. But uh, I used to have a Kyosha dogwood right there. Huh? Well, this might be it right here. And that tree fell on it. And I had two white pines back there somewhere. <laughs> Here's what's left of them. But I don't have to worry about it falling down on my house now or the neighbor's house. I just have a big mess to clean up. But, uh, the size of this tree is almost unreal. Yeah, I think uh, most of my summer is going to be spent out here. There's a little bit of damage to those trees up there. They're back so far, I don't have to worry about them falling on the house. But, uh, yeah. The fence is buried. Everything's four foot high probably here. <laughs> weed. <laughs> I'm just set to the whole thing. This is blooming like crazy. that part out. <laughs> These are getting hard to put.
got smashed. It's a long way to go. <laughs> I didn't do anything today. Yesterday broke me. Okay, excuse me, I'm in the middle of a project right now, but uh, Thomas sent a package, and I, I should have done a filming of it when I opened it up, and I realized I hadn't. But anyway, he sent some uh, some uh, plants, uh, mother-in-law's tongue, and uh, these are a type of aloe vera unusual they had like a little ball at the base at the base and these are a type of ground orchid and I'm going to plant those in like a trough I think or something I don't think they'll live in the ground up here up north and he also got me some pots for my plants they stack really cool and um Oh, he had gotten some uh, mother of a thousand uh, babies for me. Um, they're in the house still. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you. Thanks, Thomas. Okay, we're going for another update. <laughs> some of the stuff Thomas gave us. From down there, he said it grows in his yard all over the place. The kind of type of orchid. Okay, here we go again. Battery dead last time. We'll try this again. Just stay there, Hoop. Yeah, update on this. Backyard. That's all that's left. That big pile. And them trees. This way out over this way with the Kyosha dogwood and we're clear over to here and from here over there's the fire you can see this is where the old fence line used to be I can make it over here now. This is yet to be done. But that's what I have left. And that's one one evening of burning. We started around three o'clock, three thirty. And it's just now eight o'clock. This tree was buried under, it wasn't even standing before. I still have to tie it to that tree right there and pull it back. But this is, uh, this is all that's left. left of my deck I 
and people of course they dispose of their tires anywhere they were back in here they haven't been back in here in 10 years <coughs> but uh, I still have this but I figured one or two other good evenings and this will all be gone this is where the pine trees were that one's going to be one of the hardest because it's this when we start another fire over this way perfect afternoon for one and that's the last of it that corner right there still needs cleaned out a bit but uh yeah that's your Tree update. Hey, just out here with Albert. He's uh, burning down the yard. <laughs> As you can see, he's burned all this out. <laughs> And he's working on it over there now. This pile of mulch is what remains of eight trees. Not eight. eight. We had more mulch than this. Oh, there's a couple piles. There. Yeah, this is a tree or so, plus the whole lumber. And then there's more trees. It goes all the way across. Then there's more big stumps down there and everything that needs uh, fixed up, cut up and everything. And I'm up here checking out this wood pile because this is what I like to, to sneak into whenever I'm missing something for my crafts. Don't look like much, but a lot of times if you fix it up and paint it or do whatever, it can be just, just lovely. Our yard hasn't been this clean in I don't know how many years. But now Albert's feeling Tired. Very tired. <laughs> oh, there's an interesting rock. <clears throat> that might be pretty cleaned up. Oops. Cool. can't think of the name of it. It's like a type of... Is it granite? I think it's granite. But I don't want to take that for granite. But anyway, now we got this over here to do. And then we're going to take down this fence and move it over to about where that pole is that you can see standing way down there or to where the nearest one of those posted is over there you can kind of get a general idea it goes almost up against their house and we're just finding that out 
right about the time the trees were ready to, dr to drop on our house, we find out the trees on the other side of that fence all these years were really ours. But you've already heard that. I'm just rehashing. Oh, I'll be able to make stuffed grape leaves soon. And if you look, we got baby grapes coming on. Let me try to take you in closer. See you, baby grapes. I know. Stupidity, sheer stupidity. Dogwood. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and watch it all burn and there's been a lot burned up a whole lot of stuff a whole lot more to go. yeah a whole lot more to go but if you watch back on the video of this all before before it was started there was a huge pile right where I'm sitting and right in front of me Actually, if I was sitting here back then, I probably wouldn't be able to see much anything because of the pile. I'd be in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be in the middle of the pile. And now Albert's cleaning out the pile up the, over there. Way back in there are some cinder blocks that we haven't had access to in decades. Probably an adventure for him. <laughs> yeah. You want an adventure? Been in yard he hasn't been in and who knows how long.